share tweet Joy Behar was spewing utter contempt for President Donald Trump today on The View. She seems to believe he is to blame for the shooting at the Chabad synagogue. President, you are the culprit, declared the 75-year-old to a shocked audience. Well, Behar continued to spout utter nonsense about Trump, and instantly she was made to really regret it, you'll love this. In the minds of Trump haters, everything bad that happens in the world is his fault. It's part of their Trump derangement syndrome, and no one comes close to embodying the worst of the derangement syndrome than Joy Behar, she has once again made a fool of herself on live TV. Whippy Goldberg started off the conversation. So yet again it's happened in this country, something horrible. Saturday a white nationalist allegedly opened fire in a San Diego synagogue killing one woman and injuring three others, said Goldberg, the 19-year-old suspected shooter also being investigated for a recent mosque fire. He wrote an online manifesto saying he was inspired by recent acts of terrorism from other white nationalists. These incidents are on the rise. What do we do about this? It looks like Whoopi left out some facts about that online manifesto. The View's fact finder somehow missed the shooter wrote he hated Trump. Instead, Goldberg and her cohorts decide to blame the president. Adopting the same Q&A format as New Zealand shooter for his document, the synagogue shooter John Ernest answers the question as to whether he is a Trump supporter, you mean that Zionist, Jew-loving, anti-white, traitorous, expletive? Don't make me laugh, he wrote in the manifesto, according to Heavy and other media. After Goldberg's assessment, Joy pipes in and she has taken notes. I want to say something about Trump. I wrote down the line, last week Biden introduced a video where he brought up Charlottesville, says loudmouth Behar. We all saw that. It was very well done. It reminded me we're losing the soul of America. The next day Donald Trump defends Charlottesville once again. Says that these people were historians, they were more interested in Robert E. Lee than the fact that they were saying Jews will not replace us. They were just historians. It was also a big fat lie by Joe Biden claiming Trump called neo-Nazis very fine people as most conservative sources reported last week. Once again, Joy gets her facts straight from the fake news outlets. Why don't we just lock up Doris Kearns Goodwin then? She continued. Then on Saturday in the morning this assault on the synagogue, then Saturday afternoon our hearts are with the victims. He talks out of both sides of his mouth. He's provocative. He gives dog whistles constantly to these people. Then Kellyanne goes out there and defends him and says no no no, and he is like no no no. Take responsibility for your actions, Mr. President, you are the culprit. It looks like Joy missed the facts altogether and then decided to blame Trump, even though the shooter hated him and called him a slew of expletives including a Zionist. It's well known that Trump loves Israel and his grandkids are Jewish. Immediately, Behar got blasted by Americans who are sick and tired of her ignorant rhetoric. Really? Trump? I wonder what Omar's statements had anything to do with that and of course, Aka gives her support on national television. Do you think these two Democrats, as well as 100 other Democrats in Congress, could have been an influence? Asked Twitter user The Slickster. Deflection. Hashtag the view is run by morons The shooter was a Trump-hating, Israel-hating liberal, just like most of the Democratic Party and their thugs, tweeted Angry Americans United. Enough is enough already. Comments like this from at Joyv Bihar make me want to vomit. Are you at Joyv Bihar just as mentally unstable as the synagogue shooters? I think not. Difference? You are pure hashtag evil. Tweeted Frank Thomas. Joy Behar is one of the vilest women on TV today. And make no mistake, there is a wide-ranging group of Trump haters to choose from. However, 
the 75-year-old comedian spouts rhetoric without doing due diligence to getting any of the facts. In truth, the view has descended into a team of ignorant Trump-hating ninnies who would bring comedy relief with their ridiculous rants if this wasn't so serious, accusing the president of being the culprit of the synagogue shooting should be so shocking to the mainstream media that they should have to denounce Behar and the view as dangerous anti-American liars. Instead, Behar is only checked by patriotic Americans who grow disgusted that ABC allows this hate-filled propaganda to continue. History will forget all the joy Bihars, but their sick rhetoric will be remembered as a very dark time for media outlets in America, share tweet.